Hello viewers, welcome to the editorial analysis by Drishti IES. In this section, we regularly take editorials from various newspapers and news portals for a better understanding of various issues happening in India and around the globe. Dear viewers, in this section, we first try to link the editorial with our UPSC syllabus. Then we go analytical in order to understand some key points and at last some important concepts. Dear viewers, we truly hope that you like this initiative taken by Drishti IES and your feedbacks are important for us. So kindly feel free to give your important feedbacks in the comment section. So without any further delay, let's commence our session. Dear viewer, this video is available in Hindi as well. If you wish to watch it, please visit our Hindi YouTube channel, Drishti IAS. For your convenience, the link for this video in Hindi has been provided in the description below. Today's editorial is taken from the Economic Times published on 11th of March 2021. The title of today's editorial is Let's SPACs in with stringent riders. If we try to link today's editorial with our UPC syllabus, we can link it with GS Paper 3 which has subjects like Indian economy and issues relating to planning and development. Some key points from today's editorial. Should SEBI allow the special purpose acquisition companies to be set up in India in addition to the innovators growth platform it already has in place and proposes to refine to help startups to go public with minimal fuss. Now see the biggest question here is that whether SEBI should allow the SPACs to be introduced into India especially in such a condition when we already have the innovators growth platform which is doing quite well. Now, what exactly the Innovators Growth Platform is? The Innovators Growth Platform proposed by SEBI is a very refreshing initiative that aims to address the capital issue. See, capital is the most important thing. Money. Okay? You need money in order to run a business, in order to operate a business. So, it provides the IGP, that is the Innovators Growth Platform, provides a great avenue for startups looking to raise revenue as well as scope now this platform the igp platform can double the available capital over the next five years it also addresses a key point of capital availability for startups ranging between 70 crores to 200 crores okay so it has already been said that the innovators growth platform has the potential to be the platform that actually can provide the venture capital stage okay there is perhaps merit in giving companies and investors one more option to marry capital in search of returns with ideas for creating new wealth and growth with the rider that SEBI could attach the requirement of a decent track record for the sponsor of a new SPAC see it's always better to give options yes why can't the investors why can't the companies can get this another option in order to get more and more capital when there will be more and more capital there will be new values introduced there will be a complete growth also what SEBI can do is SEBI can actually attach the series of requirement requirement of a decent track record in order to become a sponsor of a SPAC if you don't have a decent track record, then you definitely cannot be that particular SPAC that you're looking for. The present scenario. Now, what exactly a SPAC is? A SPAC is a shell company floated with the intent of merging with a private company seeking to go public without the cost and hassle of our initial public offering. See, a SPAC is a shell company. Now, the reason why a SPAC is introduced so that in time to come in future, it can be merged with a private company which is actually looking to go public and the company should want to avoid the entire fuss that is associated when an IPO is launched. The shell company has got no track record so does not qualify in the normal course to go public. But the biggest problem is the shell companies they do not have any track record. That's the reason they are shell companies. Okay. So in normal case, they cannot go public. So what exactly can be done when a private organization and a SPAC is combined together and they decide to go public in such a situation, it can be a great advantage for these shell companies. 
SEBI will have to carve out new provisions for them or accommodate them in the platform it has created for startup. Now the second option SEBI has got is for such SPACs or for such shell companies. SEBI has to provide them some platform which it has created for the startups. The investors, individuals and funds subscribe to the SPAC's public offer or shares based on the reputation and credibility of its sponsor. See, the investors, the individuals, people, they know they actually invest in that particular SPAC owing to the reputation the SPAC has made for itself. This is most important. Now, if a SPAC does not hold a good reputation, then yes, it is definitely something which is very problematic. Pershing Cap Square Capital boss Bill Ackman managed to raise $4 billion for his SPAC. The money raised is kept in a good, in a trust and gathers interest. See, the best thing associated here is an example that is given by here with reference to SPAC is of the Pershing Square Capital boss. Now, Bill Ackman, he came up with a SPAC and he actually managed to raise $4 billion for his venture. Now, why exactly it could happen? It could happen because Bill Ackman has got a reputation. So it is quite important that the reputation and the credibility of the sponsor should be very high. The sponsor should be able to identify an acquisition target within two years and buy it up. Otherwise, investors have to be returned their money with interest. See, the sponsor who is actually claiming everything has to identify an acquisition that is within the next two years the acquisition will take place if it does not happen within next two years the investors will be given their money back along with the standard rate of interest if a private company does a reverse merger okay if a private company does a reverse merger with the listed SPAC the sponsor gets a slice of the merged entity fees for free now, what exactly a reverse merger is so a reverse takeover reverse merger or reverse ipo is the acquisition of a private company by an existing public company so that the private company can bypass the lengthy and the complex process of going public investors in spac find themselves like contributors to private equity or venture funds with relatively early access to future corporate stars like google or facebook see even when Google, Facebook, all these organizations, when they were in their initial stages, they too had this kind of support. And now look at these companies, how big they have made. Startups and their investors get easy access to public funds. See, the startups and the investors, they actually have a very easy access to the public funds, okay, which is quite important for an organization to run. The way forward, but even fairy tales have bad witches. But the most important thing here is that how soft, how easy it sounds, it's actually isn't that easy. There are many loopholes which are present and there could be many people who can actually make benefit or you can say who can actually fraud with this particular idea. So we have to be very careful, especially SEBI has to be careful. Now, two things that SEBI can definitely do is number one, SEBI should enable less costly IPOs because expensive IPOs means there will be a very less interest. And also, the SPACs should be allowed with several conditions. There has to be several conditions such as let sponsors gain only after the merged entities share have gained a stable premium over the SPACs issue price. Now, how SPACs can be beneficial is that the sponsors of the SPAC they will only gain money in such condition that when a particular target revenue target has been kept for that particular SPAC. So the moment that particular SPAC achieves that revenue target only after then only after then the sponsors of the SPAC should be given some gains otherwise there should not be any profit associated. Now, this is something which is quite important for us and we have to see it, especially SEBI has to take the required action in it. So, this was with today's editorial analysis. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much.